Hello everyone, this is your friend Saqib and welcome to Hunt Electronics. So today's topic is IC555. So in this today's topic, we are going to see the detailed introduction, the basic and a working of an IC555. So my friends, the IC555 is also known as a timer IC which is the one of the most remarkable integrated circuit ever developed which was developed in the year 1917 by signet corporation it comes in a single that is 8 pin dip or a 12 that is 14 pin dip it is also available in low power cmos version uh, like an uh, icm 7555 the most uh, common part numbers which are available in the market are LM555, NE555, LM556, NE556 and etc. Now my dear friend, let us see more detail about the IC555 internal schematic. Depending upon the manufacturer standard, the timer IC555 package includes uh, 25 transistors, 2 diodes and 15 transistors. Yes, my friend. So if you count the total number of transistor in IC555 schematic, there are 25 transistors. You can see here there are 2 diodes over here and there are 15 resistors over there if you count the resistors there are 15 numbers of resistors over there now the ic555 internally it is divided into a five different part over there now here you can sorry five uh, six different part over here you can see here the first part here it, it consists of a threshold comparator so you can see here the green color this is a threshold comparator Another one, there are one more comparators are there. It is called as a trigger comparator. So total there are two comparators. One is known as threshold and another is known as a trigger. One is voltage divider network, which is shown in the purple color over here, which consists of three registers uh, of a 5K each. Then the next, it is a flip-flop. So this comparator that is a blue color, it shows a flip-flop and the output here it is shown as an output and one more it is called as an, a discharge section over there so like this there are six different part over there so let us study the more detail about the block diagram okay so internal structure is converted into the block diagram the voltage divider that is shown in the blue color over here so you can see here the three register rrr which is nothing but a 5k 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 and because of this, the IC555 is known as a timer IC555 because of this three register. So it is shown in the blue color over here. This three equal 5K register, it divides the input voltage into a three equal parts over there. So whatever the voltage which is given over here by the BCC, it divides the input voltage into the three equal parts over there then next is a comparator there are two comparators as i show uh, as we have talked about it that is a threshold comparator and a trigger comparator which is nothing but an operational amplifier that is known as op-amp that compares the voltage at their input and saturate uh, depending upon whichever it is greater the threshold comparator saturates when the voltage at the threshold pin okay the voltage at the threshold pin that is at the pin number six is greater than two by three vcc so whatever the voltage given here vcc if it is greater than two by three vcc this threshold comparators goes into the saturation the trigger comparators saturates when the voltage at the trigger pin that is a pin number two is less by 1 by 3 of the VCC when the uh, pin number 2 that is a trigger comparator so here it if the voltage is less than 1 by 3 the trigger compa uh, comparator goes into the saturation when the threshold comparator saturates okay when the threshold comparator saturates the flip-flop so this is a flip-flop over there which we have talked about the flip-flop are 
is set okay flip-flop r is set and its output that is pin number three gives a low signal that is equals to zero when trigger comparator saturate then the flip-flop is said to be set that is s and the output of the flip-flop goes high which is equals to the vcc and this bike uh, this green color flip-flop is nothing but it is a bi-stable device which generates uh, two output one is a logic uh, zero and another is a logic one which is also called as high depending upon the condition of the input at the threshold comparator and a trigger comparator the next is the transistor over here internal which is shown in the purple color or you can say pink color it is being used as a switch which is connected to the pin number seven that is known as a discharge and it is connected to the ground through the transistor when the Q of a flip-flop is low at the same time the Q bar of the flip-flop is high at the tight time the transistor works as an a closed switch and directly the pin number 7 is connected to the ground over here when the Q is at the high state at the same time the Q bar is at the low state at that time the transistor works as an open switch and the pin number 7 gets disconnected from the ground so this was a detailed description about the block diagram of ic triple five now friend let us see about the different pin configuration of ic triple five so there are total eight pin over there for a eight pin dip over there when we are talking about the 14 pin dip it it, it doesn't make any change only there are two uh, two triple five internally here it is a single triple now the first pin which is known as a ground pin which is used to supply a zero hole to the ic yeah it is sinking second which is called as a trigger pin so the pin number two is connected to the trigger uh, comparator internally yeah as we have seen earlier which is used to convert the flip-flop from set to reset the output of the trimer depends upon the amplitude of uh, external trigger pulse that is applied to the trigger pin pin number three that is uh, known as the output pin whose output is high and above 1.7 but it is always a less thin uh, vcc which has got a capability of i source that is a current uh, output current which gives the output current up to 200 milliamp now the pin number four which is also called as a reset pin okay so here in the block diagram you can see here it is a pin number four if you give the negative trigger to the pin number four the flip-flop gate reset directly so if you want to reset the flip-flop okay so this for the pin number four you can give the negative pulse okay triggering negative triggering and the flip-flop will get reset so sometimes the flip-flop uh, IC triple five will get a fault trigger uh, as if we keep this pin number four open. So generally, this pin number four is always connected to the VCC to get it fault trigger. But whenever, if you want to uh, reset the IC triple five, just give a negative pulse to the pin number four, and it will get reset. Pin number 5 which is uh, known as a control pin which is used to control the pulse width of the output at the pin number 3 and also the label of the threshold and a trigger comparator. When an external voltage is applied to this pin the output waveform can be modulated means we can change the output depending upon the control pin of the 5. Next the pin number 6 is called as a threshold this is connected to the threshold comparator inside as we have seen the before when the voltage is applied to the threshold pin it is a contrast with the reference voltage the set state of the flip-flop can be depending on the amplitude of this pin applied to the this pin pin number seven is known as a discharge as we have seen it is connected to the internal transistor when the output of an open collector discharges a capacitor between the interval 
then it toggles the output from a logic high to logic low and the pin number 8 which is a VCC which is supply terminal which is used to give a supply voltage positive voltage of the IC with respect to the ground terminal so this was uh, friends uh, uh, the IC or a pin configuration of IC triple five let us move to the next uh, point that is a feature of IC triple five the IC triple five can be operated at wide range it can be applied from a 5 volt to 18 and some of the triple five can sustain up to the 24 volt also so you can design a IC triple five timer between the voltage 5 to 18 which is permissible and up to 24 it has got a good sinking capacity that is at the output at the pin number three as we have learned uh, that it has got up to up to the 200 milliamp the trigger voltage is up to 1.6 volt when we are operating it at a 5 volt as operating temperature uh, sorry operating uh, voltage the operating temperature is near about 0 to 70 degrees celsius for the commercial and if you go for the industrial it is up to 85 degrees celsius uh, but obviously uh, it is available in the different types of package like uh, 8 pin dip 14 pin dip uh, soic and vsop package over there and the most important that the duty cycle that is the output duty cycle of a trimal triple five can be varied as per the application still there are more uh, features over there so these are the very important features over there so let us friend move towards uh, the working mode of an ic triple five the ic triple five can be operated in the three different mode one is called as an a stable another is mono stable and third is a bi stable okay so the earth table which is also known as a free running multi vibrator over there whose output always swings between the logic 1 and 0 or you can say high or low uh, this type of a characteristics can be used in a uh, different types of uh, producing a different clock sequence or uh, clocks or square wave output for uh, many of the applications next uh, is triple uh, five can be operated as a monostable multi vibrator which is also known as a one shot trigger which has got a one stable state and another it is a unstable state over there the stable state uh, can be either the logic one or zero uh, can be depending upon uh, according to the requirement and the third one uh, which can be operated in a bi stable mode by stable means both the output uh, state has got a stable state it can be a uh, zero or a logic one or vice versa uh, the most important of the by stable it the output remains in the same state as long as uh, we change the output states from logic zero to one or one to zero that is both are the stable state so my dear friend uh, in upcoming video we are going to discuss more about the ic triple five as a stable and its application mono stable and its application and bi stable and its application so my dear friend please like share and subscribe to my 